Today we will see examples of construction of line segments. Example Draw a line segment of length 10.6 cm. Let us first draw the line segment using a ruler. Step 1 We will place the ruler on the paper and mark two points covering the length of 10.6 cm. Like here, we have marked one point on 0 and the other point on 10.6 cm mark of the ruler. Keep in mind to carefully observe the line. Step 2. We will connect the obtained points with a straight line. By giving the names P and Q to the points, we will get line segment PQ. We can also draw line segments using ruler and compass. Step 1. First of all, we will draw a line. We will name it line M. Then we will take a point on the line and name it P. Step 2. Now we will place the pointed end of the compass on 0 and stretch the compass so that the end with the pencil reaches the sign indicating a distance of 10.6 cm. Step 3. Now we will place the pointed end of the compass on point P and make an arc cutting the line M. Step 4. The point at which the arc intersects the line M will be named point Q. Here we have obtained a line segment PQ of length 10.6 cm. Next example, draw a line segment whose length is the difference between the lengths of line segments AB and CD. Just think, here we do not know the measurements of both AB and CD line segments. So in such a situation, is it possible to find a line segment whose length is equal to the difference of both? Give it a thought. Let us tell you. Yes, it can be done if one understands geometry. Here we can see that the line segment AB appears to be longer than the line segment CD. To find the difference in their lengths, we subtract the lesser from the greater. So we will first draw a line segment measuring equal to the line segment AB. We will do it like this. Step 1. First of all, we will place the pointed end of the compass on point A. And opening the compass, place the pencil on point B. That is, we will take the measure equal to line segment AB on the ends of the compass. Step 2. Then we will draw a line which we will name M. Step 3. On the line M, we will take a point which will be named point O. Placing the pointed end of the compass on this point, and without changing the measure of the compass, we will draw an arc cutting M. Step 4. The point at which the arc intersects the line M will be named Q. Here we will get line segment OQ, the length of which is equal to given line segment AB. Now we will draw a line segment of equal length of the line segment CD. We will do it as follows. Step 5. We will place the pointed end of the compass on point C and stretching the compass, place the end with the pencil on point D. That is, we will take the equal distance of the line segment CD in the ends of the compass. Step 6. Without changing the measure of the compass, we will place its pointed end on the point O on the line and make an arc cutting the line M. Step 7. The point at which the arc intersects the line M will be named point P. Here we get line segment OP, the length of which is equal to given line segment CD. Step 8. Here you can see that if we remove the part OP from OQ, then the obtained part shows the difference of the lengths of both. That is, OQ minus OP is equal to PQ. Since OQ is equal to AB and OP is equal to CD, so we can say that AB minus CD is equal to PQ. In this way, we have drawn the line PQ as the difference between the lengths of AB and CD. 
can you draw two line segments and then construct a line segment whose length is same as sum of lengths of both the line segments so today we saw examples of construction of line segments in the next video we will see some mistakes one can make while constructing line segments